Hey, I'm Bakers, it's Jack here at Bake with Jack Dog, Coda UK, bringing you your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. And this week, how are you supposed to knead a dough that is so wet? Let's do it. Hey you guys and welcome back. This week you may have noticed on my blog I put a recipe on there for a ciabatta. And the thing about a ciabatta is that it's a super wet dough. It's so wet that's how we get nice big holes, nice big texture and that's why it is the shape that it is. However, to get that dough out onto the table and knead it in the traditional sense is literally asking for trouble. It's going to stick to everything, it's going to spread out onto the table like soup. So here is how I knead it. Okay, so my pre-ferment is in the bowl already and what I want to do is put the rest of my flour there, which is 250 grams into there, salt, that's 8 grams, that's plenty, and my water and my yeast here as well right so first thing we add this to the bowl the flour and then the salt goes in okay on the top and then all the liquid and the water goes in all the water and the yeast here right in so that's 150 grams of water in there and some yeast as well and that brings it up to 400 grams of liquid the only other thing we need is olive oil which we add like this yeah that'll do so now with my scraper, I'm going to mix this all together and it's going to look a little bit like uh, porridge for a while. Just give it some welly, make sure you cut it up a little bit to be able to get all that flour inside. Like this. And it's going to be a little bit messy to begin with and then should come together quite nicely. Have a little scrape around the edges as you go in to bring it all together really nice. Like this. And this is what we do to work it, okay? So what I like to do is keep my scraper, the curved side of the scraper into the bowl and bring everything down into the edge of the bowl closest to me like this. So it's all in sort of one piece right here. Now, I just do a little bit of a scoop underneath. So I'll put the scraper there at the far side, bring it underneath, lift it and then put it back, okay? And in a sort of circular motion, okay, like this. This is all you do and you can repeat this for about 8 to 10 minutes and it will become much nicer and smoother. Don't worry too much about speed at this point we're just mixing it up okay lifting it out of the bowl and plopping it back into the bowl like this. Let's do it double quick. So now after 10 minutes of work, around about 10 minutes, you start appreciating the difference, right? It's no longer that porridgey substance from earlier, but it's not smooth. And if a recipe says work it until it's smooth, it's not going to happen. There's going to be a smoothness to it, like a silkiness. And if I lift it for a minute, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about, but it's not going to be totally smooth at this point. The smoothness, especially in a ciabatta recipe like this, comes later down the line after stretching and folding. So if I pick a piece up like this, hopefully you can see there's a smoothness and a silkiness to it and that just no longer just breaks off in pieces anymore. It's got some real strength underneath it. It's got some real snapback elasticity which is lovely. If I move a little bit quicker you might be able to appreciate that a little bit more, um, the smoothness I'm talking about and also its ability to then trap a bit of air. The idea is not to trap air at this point. That's not the whole point of this bit. The point is to develop the gluten but when you do trap air you notice you get a real nice bubble uh, and it doesn't pop so quick because of the strength of the dough. As you can see, my hands are a little bit messy and expect this, but the table is nice and clean and tidy. And that's what I like about this. It's all self-contained in the bowl. There's no mess everywhere apart from my fingers, which is cool. Keep that action going. Like 10 minutes, it's going to be wonderful. But the important thing is when you're lifting up, give it a good stretch out of the bowl. Good stretch because that's where the magic's happening in this stretch. There you have it. That's how I deal with a dough that's too wet to get out in a practical sense 
onto the table. That's 80% hydration though, and I always keep it self-contained in the bowl, zero mess. And actually, the thing I like about ciabatta recipes is that the dough then comes out into a plastic box, and then it's self-contained again, which is wonderful. It doesn't come out of that box onto the table until the very end when you dust it up and divide it up. That's how I deal with a dough that's too wet to get out onto the table. Thank you very much for being here every single week. I look forward to seeing you next week for another bread making tip. And don't forget, if you want to make a simple ciabatta at home, there's a recipe up on my blog. I'll put the link in the descriptions box. Thank you very much. See you next week. <music>